Did you know that your nose does more than just help you smell? It's a complex gateway to your respiratory system and plays a crucial role in keeping you healthy. But how? Today we're diving deep into the mysteries of the nasal cavity. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated with our fascinating science and health videos. And if you find this video intriguing, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Let's start with a simple question. Have you ever wondered what happens to the air you breathe in through your nose? Well, it doesn't just go straight to your lungs. The journey of air through your nasal cavity is an intricate process designed to filter, warm, and humidify the air before it reaches your lungs. The nasal cavity is a fascinating structure located within the nose, extending from the nostrils all the way to the pharynx. But it's not just an empty passage. This cavity is divided into several regions, each with its own specific function. Let's break it down. The very first part of the nasal cavity is the vestibule. This is the area just inside the nostrils, and it's lined with skin and tiny hairs called vibrissae. These hairs play a crucial role in trapping large particles like dust and pollen, preventing them from entering further into your respiratory system. Moving deeper, we encounter the nasal septum. This is a partition made of both bone and cartilage that divides the nasal cavity into two nostrils. The septum ensures that the airflow is equally distributed between the two nostrils, aiding in efficient breathing. But the most fascinating part of the nasal cavity is the nasal conche, also known as turbinates. These are curved, bony structures on the lateral walls of the nasal cavity. Their primary function? To increase the surface area inside the nose. Why is this important? More surface area means more efficient warming and humidifying of the air you breathe in. Now, you might be wondering, why does the air need to be warmed and humidified? Think about it. Cold, dry air can be quite harsh on your lungs. By the time the air reaches your lungs, it needs to be at body temperature and fully humidified to prevent irritation and maintain optimal lung function. The nasal conche play a crucial role in this process. But that's not all. The nasal cavity is also home to the olfactory epithelium. This is the region responsible for your sense of smell. It's located high up in the nasal cavity and contains olfactory receptors that detect airborne molecules. When these molecules bind to the receptors, they send signals to your brain, allowing you to perceive different smells. So next time you catch a whiff of freshly baked cookies or blooming flowers, remember that it's all thanks to the tiny receptors in your nasal cavity working in harmony with your brain. The nasal cavity doesn't just stop at smelling and filtering air. It also has a drainage function. The paranasal sinuses, which are air-filled spaces in the bones around the nasal cavity, produce mucus that drains into the nasal cavity. This mucus traps smaller particles and pathogens, keeping them from reaching the lungs. Additionally, the nasolacrimal ducts, which drain tears from your eyes, also empty into the nasal cavity. Ever wondered why your nose runs when you cry? Now you know. Let's talk a bit more about the paranasal sinuses. There are four pairs of these sinuses, frontal, ethmoidal, sphenoidal, and maxillary. Each pair is located in different bones of the skull and serves to lighten the weight of the skull, produce mucus, and enhance the resonance of your voice. That's right, your nasal cavity even plays a role in how you sound. But like any part of the body, the nasal cavity can sometimes face issues. Common conditions include rhinitis, which is the inflammation of the nasal mucosa, often caused by allergies or infections. Sinusitis, on the other hand, is the inflammation of the paranasal sinuses, leading to congestion, pain, and sometimes infection. Then there's the deviated septum, a condition where the nasal septum is displaced, making one nasal passage smaller than the other. This can lead to breathing difficulties and may require surgical correction. But fear not, many of these conditions are treatable with modern medicine. For example, nasal sprays, antihistamines, and decongestants can often relieve the symptoms of rhinitis. Sinusitis might require antibiotics or even minor surgery to drain the sinuses. And a deviated septum can be corrected through a surgical procedure called septoplasty. 
As you can see, the nasal cavity is a marvel of human anatomy. It's not just a simple passage for air, but a complex system designed to protect your lungs, enhance your sense of smell, and even influence your voice. So next time you take a deep breath, appreciate the intricate journey that air takes through your nose. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of the nasal cavity. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below with any questions or thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe for more deep dives into the wonders of the human body. Share this video with anyone who might find it interesting, and let's spread the knowledge together.